This video is brought to you by Tips, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed on YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. Lower this down a little bit. That way it's out of your way. Just basically, uh, I can come in here. Now, with that one, what I can do there, actually I believe I already have the switch to it. What I can do with this in order to make it, uh, wait, sorry, in order to make it sound louder is It, um, this is the video that you guys just saw with just the music. Now be. Final result for the uh, my introduction video for working with audio video. So what I'm going to do is rename it. Working with audio video intro. For uh, oh wow, I haven't even been trans did a transition yet.
now I'm added video 5 from uh, my long unfinished videos right here and now I'm going to back out of here and go to my raw videos I'll add these in and then when I'm done with this video here I'll add it and it will show you the full process of everything everything right there will come together and I'll have some good footage with this too I'll put it I'll merge it all together <clears throat> then I'll uh, break it down into 15 part or into 15 minute videos and go from there like I did previously and a lot of this is a lot of repetition so basically uh, kind of get a gist of it when I get the ending or when I do the ending video I'll uh, make a video of that and then I'll put it together and show you guys but after that or until then I'm just going to uh, get this done and I will come back whenever I start on the ending uh, video for my videos on, of working with audio and video so let me get this taken care of Okay, I know I said that I was going to stop it there until I do the ending uh, video for my uh, working with audio videos, but I wanted to show this because this time my Wondershare actually did every single video and I can go through it. So I have them all merged together, volume set up, and I've got the video right here with everything that I've just added and I can uh, now take this one and put it in working with audio and video five sports I believe so what I do is I go up to or down to my working with audio and video folder I do the long unfinished one and like before I delete it and I come back down to my Wondershare video and I have this one which by the way is 55 minutes and 28 seconds and I can cut those down into 15 videos as well as have the long uh, video too because I've, I found that you know some people they like longer one hour an hour and a half videos where other people they just like to watch 15 minute videos so I cut them down 15 minutes of it you know I can help with people getting that too but this is the basic setup right here and I will take this one and I will put it on here and break it down into 15 minutes like so 15 minutes a piece that will be here in the long Finished videos, video, audio, and video five. Put it on there, <clears throat> and then I go into my raw videos, and I can delete these. Because I have that one now. And then I do repeat the process with the first one. I split them down into 15 minute videos. I already have that, so now I will add this part to what I had on that one. And I will go ahead and split it down into 15 minute videos. 
<clears throat> okay, so now the Wondershare has finished with its uh, merging. It's, it's finally merged them together. And I forgot that I had two of them. So I've got to delete these, I believe. 28 seconds, 30 seconds. So I delete those. This one is, I guess I can just go ahead and cut it and I will take this, oh no, I'll leave that with OBS, take this back to my videos file on my external hard drive and go into my working with audio and video. Actually, I can put it in my long unfinished videos, post them there, and I unmerge this. If you don't uh, unmerge this, you'll get a notice popping up on there about it. When you go to hit these little X's, so always remember to unmark that if you get this. And if you don't do this, they will stay on the, on the video. Now that that's done, but let me test it real quick to see how long it is actually. Five minutes and 45 seconds. That wasn't it. Let me go restore those. Might have accidentally. Nope. Those are too short. So now I've got to figure out what's going on there. Uh, put them, put it in working with others. <clears throat> no wordy. Think any of those did exactly what they were supposed to. So let me 
go ahead and give it another shot. So yeah, um, I checked it out and I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them finished here. And on uh, the one to share, I noticed that I had some video clips that were like three to four seconds long. So I went in and took everything that was 10 seconds out of it. They were mostly sound checks that I had on there. So I did that and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen more to go. And like I said, I mean, it's annoying, but it's better than most of the converters that I have found. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take all of the ones off that I had on there, which was eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'll just do another one again. Now, this actually is right here now. And I've got too many of these open here. Yeah. I usually have the tab open for it so that I can keep track of everything. <clears throat> and I am going to finish it now. I'll just go through and do it like this and then combine them as I go. So I will keep the tab, tabs on it. I don't want to keep it on or everything on while I'm recording or while I'm doing it because it's it, it, it'll take a while. This isn't a slow process at all. Okay, just a fast update on um, just right after I said that to you, I did one video and it stopped, and now I'm pretty sure that. The reason why it's doing that is because I can't have OBS and Wondershare running at the same time. Like I said, this is a 32-bit computer and it doesn't have very much power, so that could be the issue. So I'm going to give it a try without the OBS and get back on, on it or get back to you about it. Okay, so a quick update on my work with Wondershare. I finally got them all done. They're out of there. Now to go check on your folder. You go in here and hit that button down the bottom. It says open folder. It's down on the left, left hand, or actually in the center. And it pops up. I don't need it though because like I said I've already got one open. Um, now this is where I come to. What I do is I select all of them, which I already did, but I'm going to do it again just to show you. And I hit cut. Back out of here, I go back to videos, and I come up to or down to working with audio and video. And I've got my own um, folder set up for raw videos. I create a new folder for inside of it and just rename the folder already used videos. That helps out a lot when it comes to keeping track of videos that I've used and ones that I haven't used. I put that in there, then I paste. And boom, all those are already there. So I back out of there. Check there. This is working with audio and video. And I've got that set up. So 
So now what I'm going to do here, since like I said in the last video clip, uh, for some reason th this video it won't work good with uh, OBS open for me. So I basically have to do one at a time and so whenever I show you this stuff I'm going to back out of it and then I'm going to do the process so that it doesn't mess up. I go into raw videos, I select all of them, I open them. These are the ones that have already been through Wondershare once. I'm going to run them through again. But before I do I want to see a couple of these are like this one here is only a 15 second video. See there's absolutely nothing there so I can delete that one. Test. Oh wait a minute, it does have something. This is one of my test videos. This one doesn't have anything. It goes from one clip to the next one. So I can get rid of this 15 minute one. Come up here, check out this 17 second one. This is when I was timing how long it would take for that to start so that I could cut that uh, audio out of my introduction. So that one's gone. I can finally clip it out because I got it on this video. And now I've got a 43 second video here. I understand that echo is supposed to be there because that was what I was doing the uh, sound checks for was to get rid of that echo so that's part of the video so that you can actually see it and let's see now we have another 11 second video here testing one two three testing one two three testing okay so that was a sound check after i did that one so that one is all taken care of and all i need now is the 17 minute video these right here there we go so I go ahead and delete these come back down to Wondershare this is the second part that I just finished and I bring this up to or down to working with audio raw video and put 
this in here with that. Okay. And I add that one to the file. Actually. can now do all these together and I will end this one and add this to the video that I just put on there and I should put it all together for you. Okay so a quick update on my work with Wondershare. I finally got them all done. They're out of there. Now to go check on your folder, you go in here, you know, hit that button down on the bottom, it says open folder, it's down on the left, left hand, or actually in the center, and it pops up, I don't need it though, because like I said, I've already got one open, um, Now this is where I come to, and what I do is I select all of them, which I already did, but I'm going to do it again just to show you, and I hit cut, back out of here, I go back to videos, and I come up to, or down to working with audio and video, and I've got my own um, folder set up for raw videos, I create a new folder for inside of it and it's rename the folder already used videos that helps out a lot when it comes to keeping track of videos that I've used and ones that I haven't used. I put that in there then I paste and boom all those are already there. So I back out of there check there this is working with audio and video and I've got that set up so now what I'm going to do here since like I said in the last video clip uh, for some reason th this video it won't work good with uh, OBS open for me so I basically have to do one at a time and so whenever I show you this stuff I'm going to back out of it and then I'm going to do the process so that it doesn't mess up. I go into raw videos, I select all of them, I open them. These are the ones that have already been through Wondershare once. I'm going to run them through again. But before I do, I want to see what a couple of these are, like this one here is only a 15 second video. See there's absolutely nothing there, so I can delete that one. Oh wait a minute, it does have something. This is one of my test videos. Now this one doesn't have anything. It goes from one clip to the next one. So I can get rid of this 15 minute one. up here, check out this 17 second one, yeah this is when I was timing how long it would take for that to start so that I could cut that uh, audio out of my introduction. So that one's gone. I can finally clip it out because I got it on this video. 
And now I've got a 43 second video here. I understand that echo is supposed to be there because that was what I was doing the uh, sound checks for was to get rid of that echo so that's part of the video so that you can actually see it and let's see now we have another 11 second video here testing one two three testing one two three testing okay so that was a sound check after i did that one so that one is all taken care of and all i need now is the 17 minute video these right here there we go so I'll go ahead and delete these come back down to Wondershare this is the second part that I just finished and I bring this up to or down to working with audio, raw video. Put this in here with that. <laughs> okay. And I add that one to the file. Actually. can now do all these together and I will end this one and add this to the video that I just put on there and that should put it all together for you okay so now with my wonder share I was able to get all of the video together for what I did on making my introduction video for working with audio and video and that's taken care of but now this right here needs to be put together and that's fine because I'm gonna split these up I'll make it into one big video and then split these up into 15 minute videos <clears throat> and I can take those two off and combine these videos right here with this one that I'm recording now and it'll show the process and everything that I'm doing on the Wondershare so that's also a good thing you know I, uh, I'm going to start doing things in a different format than what I actually was before I'm uh, going to just go through it and show you how I'm doing it as I'm doing because just doing it in a tutorial kind of format just isn't working out so I just don't feel comfortable with it so let me go back and show you what I'm going to do come out here and merge every, all the videos like before remove this one and this one and then 
I will end this video and add this on the last part right here by opening this and instead of going to raw videos I will go to OBS in my videos or in my external hard drive and this will be the video that I add to it so let me get off of this and I will show you the uh, show you the next steps as I go okay so now I finally got the videos all processed and everything uh, this is my raw videos that I had there those have been converted with the uh, Wondershare to my settings they didn't all go on one video though, so I'm going to have to pull all of my videos off of the Wondershare folder, which is right here. Yeah, this one is the last one, and then these three. But I can now go to OBS and to my rough drafts and delete these because I don't need them any longer. I was about ready to delete them. <clears throat> then I'll take this one and I will add it to the end of this one like I did before. Hold on, let me come back in here real quick and I will cut and paste these like I did before. And it's just basically a repeat or a, pro, a repeating process you know doing the same thing that I did the last time until I get all of it on there um, working with audio and video I come to my raw videos put them there I really didn't have to do that but yeah I guess I did but I went ahead and did it and then this last one right here cut that one bring it up to my or down to my working with audio and videos raw videos paste now I, usually I don't have to use my already used videos but if I get a lot of them and I have to time the videos out to 15 minutes I'll use that um, there's other uses that you have for them but having an extra folder in there to separate your videos for your clips is a good idea so just pointing that out for everybody so they know now what I do here is I go into my working with audio and video file go to raw videos go ahead and put these up here put these in them just like before and I end my OBS stream that I'm doing right now and I add it to the bottom here and then I merge them and that's it so let me get off here and do it again Hopefully it all goes together in one video this time. Okay, so now I've got the whole big video going on, and uh, I, or I've got all the videos broken up into big sections, and I'm working on video four now, which is right now. Yeah, video 4 which is 51 minutes and 25 seconds what I've done is I've split this up on the actual video and I don't know if it actually will do that with, without having to put extra ones because I've usually had to make copies of this and then uh, do each clip 15 minutes a piece but I tried something new this time to see if it works out um, 
like I said, I'm having extremely an extremely hard time at working with this Wondershare. You know, I don't know what the deal is. It just started up recently like that. I'm starting to get an idea that Wondershare, the Wondershare video uh, converter that I have is outdated like a lot of the other stuff that I've used. Um, which is pretty a shame, you know, because it's, it's hard to compete when you have to edit your videos like this. And, you know, for me, I try to make my own content. And for me to do that, I've got to use tools like this. And now I'm having to learn how to just wing it off the OBS and, uh, that's just to compete, you know, with little 12 year olds who sit in a bedroom all day for 12 hours long streaming, you know, video games. And uh, they don't they do not do nothing but put out garbage videos, no editing, no, no nothing, you know. That seems to be the only alternative, it seems like, that comes to it because like this right here, there's no guarantees that this actually works or will work. When it gets stuck like this, I usually hit pause, resume, pause, resume, do about three or four times. Sometimes I go five, and if that doesn't do anything, I come down here to cancel, and then it shows me an option if I want to cancel or not. And I say no, and it goes back to it, and I do the pause and resume. Looks like it worked that time. It says not responding. It always does that. And then it'll stop and show a check mark saying that it's done. And it'll have a little pop up that says I can look at the folder that it's in and it'll take me to the folder so We'll see if it actually split this one big video into four smaller videos. And if it did, I'll show you how I did it once I back out of this. That not responding is lasting a little, a little bit longer than what it usually does. I, I really think that uh, Wondershare doesn't really work too well on this computer with uh, OBS running at the same time. Oh yeah. There we go. Kicked out of it. And it says it's finished. task finished and it's going to show me my folder now yeah see that's not what I wanted I wanted it split up into four separate worlds be done with it and go into my working with audio and video to what I wanted. Okay, so let me see.
for watching. If you like this video please like, subscribe, share, make comment. We love feedback.